You need to come up here next time. But anyway, all right, sorry for messing you up, man. But yeah, you're up next. So give it up for another one of my favorite regulars that's always consistently coming here, trying out new shit all the time and being hilarious. John, free tag! Hi, my name is John. Um, Hi, John. When I was a kid, much like everybody else, I was forced to play sports. Um, and I learned the difference between baseball coaches and football coaches really quick. Uh, baseball coaches are super encouraging, like, oh, you'll get it next time, bud, or good swing. Football coaches, not so sweet. That ball hits you in the hands, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Quit crying, you baby. I remember one time my coach grabbed me by the pads, pointed to this kid on the other side of the field named Fat Joe by players, coaches, and parents alike, and yelled at me, spit, hitting my face. I need you to put that fat pig on his ass. And even as a nine-year-old, I thought that was a little bit harsh. Um, you shouldn't call a kid with a weight problem a fat pig. But then Fat Joe put his hands up in the air like this on the very next play and then just fell right on top of me, so fuck that guy. Um, and then when I wasn't playing sports as a kid, I was pretty much asking to get kidnapped. Uh, I was at a science fair with my dad once, and I was holding his hand, and I went to point at something cool, and I grabbed his hand immediately, real quick. And we're walking around for 15 minutes, and I go to ask him a question, and I notice something weird. My dad doesn't have a beard. My dad doesn't have glasses. I don't think this is my dad. And then I must have squeezed his hand in panic because then he looked down at me and I got to see the look of horror spread across his face as he realized he was walking around with somebody else's kids for the past hour. We eventually got things settled, but like, I was like a Costco free sample to any pedophiles out there. Like they could have just taken me and gone. I think about getting kidnapped probably three times a week. And I know exactly when and where it would happen. Take 14 days to tail me, and you know it'd be Friday at 11.30 p.m. after I've hit the gym. I'm usually the last person there. Uh, the parking lot is extremely dark, and I'd be too tired to fight back. But you know what? Do it. Um, if I'm leaving the gym at, on Friday at 11.30 p.m., I kind of need some excitement in my life. I like to work out, and I was looking up new workouts, and I found that a lot of them are named after like Eastern Bloc countries, like the Bulgarian split squat or your Romanian deadlift. Uh, so I came up with a few for the good old US of A. You have the Big Mac bicep curl. You, just... you have the, the tricep pull down the middle class. You pull down, then when I get back up, you pull them right back down. And then you have my favorite. This one's a little more effort, but you have the excessive force lunge. You get down. You stay on the ground! Stay on the ground! <laughs> and then you throw some punches in for cardio. Stay on the ground! <laughs> um, I'm the coach for our youth fitness program at my gym. And recently one of the new kids came in and he told me he loves Star Wars. Instantly my favorite. He is my man. But then he told me that his favorite Star Wars movie was The Last Jedi. And I've never seen somebody die to me so quickly. If this kid thinks Ryan Johnson's slow but not so furious Star Wars movie is better than Empire Strikes Back, then he definitely deserves to be pelted with balls by the other kids until the class is over. We are an originally trilogy group only. Since my body ages like milk, um, I'm trying to stop it. Uh, I'm signing up for dance classes to stay nimble and spry, two things I have never been. And I've also realized at the age of 27, if I was ever invited to a wedding, all I can break out is like the robot, or that thing from like Gangnam Style, or you know, the sprinkler. Some of you fuckers thought I was gonna do this. But no, no, no. This was my sprinkler, and you pulled it around your yard every five minutes and always had brown spots. I'm going to leave you with this last question, real deep philosophical question. Um, why can our buttholes taste spicy on the way out, but not sweet? Like, why do I have to feel the burn of a habanero again when all I really want is a sweet kiss of a Twinkie? 
My name is John Freitag. You guys have a good night. Give it up for John. John Freitag, he's one of my favorite guys. Uh,